As part of the routine evaluation and screening of women with PCOS, we like to recommend an insulin glucose tolerance test. This involves testing for both insulin and glucose while you're fasting. Then we have you drink a sugar solution and repeat the test in about two hours. For most of the women with PCOS, the baseline testing is normal, within the normal range and not a problem. It's after the glucose load that we find that there may be issues in women with PCOS. Frequently, we'll find that the level of insulin is dramatically increased. In about a third of the women with PCOS, the two-hour values are elevated enough to put you in a range for impaired glucose tolerance or prediabetes. It's important in this situation to get control of the PCOS because over a period of two to three years after a test showing impaired glucose tolerance, you may turn into being frankly diabetic or developing type 2 diabetes. In fact, on the first go around on the test, about six to eight percent of the women who undergo testing are found to already have type 2 diabetes. We find that this is occurring at a younger and younger age. So check with your physician to see if an insulin glucose tolerance test or hemoglobin A1C testing may be helpful in determining the extent to which insulin resistance may be leading to diabetes.